How's it going everybody? It's me, Justin, aka Goodwill Hunter, and we're back. We're gonna do another mod video. I know we haven't finished up with the Xbox One, not the Xbox One, but the original Xbox, but uh, we're gonna work in stages, so. This one's gonna be modding an original Wii Nintendo. So, if you have one of these laying around and you haven't modded one before, it's a really easy step-by-step uh, -step process. Uh, really, it's not much you can do. Um, Great if your disk drive doesn't work, um, but you probably would want one with a working disk drive, even if you don't have one with a working disk drive, just uh, so you can back up your games. So, what you're going to need for this, obviously, you're going to need a Wii, you're going to need your AV cable, sensor bar, uh, what else? You're going to need your, your power, your brick, uh, you're also going to need... An SD memory card, uh, preferably four gigs, not the SDHC, the high capacity ones. Just a standard four gig SD card. You can use the uh, higher capacity cards, but uh, for the first step, it's kind of picky sometimes, and it may not read uh, the file that we're going to try to upload, so we can get the Homebrew channel installed as well as uh, Boot Me. Uh, Boot Me is great because you can back up your NAND, your NAND, uh, so in case you kind of semi-brick your system, you can always restore it, um, but you always want to have a backup of that, so, right, what do we do, what do we do, so, let's, uh, I'm going to need to know what the MAC address for uh, the uh, network port, or the network communication port, um, the MAC address. The only way to know that is to power this thing on, go into the uh, settings menu, and go into internet. It'll tell us our MAC address, and it'll also tell us what version uh, our system menu is, because we're also going to need to know that, because we're going to need to go then onto a laptop or a PC and use a, uh, a program called uh, WeBrand Launcher, which is then going to go ahead and create uh, a file to put on the root of this SD card and then once we put this SD card into uh, the Wii and go to our messages and go to the prior day we'll have a nice little icon click it and it should execute uh, the uh, what is it uh, the, the homebrew installer pretty much so let's hook it all up and we'll cut to I guess the Wii okay let's go ahead and start it Alright, so as you can see, uh, there already is a couple of games already on these, or on this. Uh, we got Mario Kart 64 and Zelda. I'm just going to leave these, um, but what I always like to do is to go into the data management channels. Because if you're going to install anything as far as uh, virtual console games after the fact, which we can do once we do the homebrew channel install, you're going to need to free up some, some space. So right now we have this many, but uh, if you go into save data under Wii, you'll see there's a lot of save data. So I always recommend if you ever find a Wii uh, and you're going to soft mod it, uh, just go ahead and delete everything. Uh, un unless, you know, like they're good channels like we have with Zelda and Mario Kart. So we're going to go into settings because we need to find out what the MAC address for this is, as well as the system uh, menu version, which is 4.3U, which was the last North American uh, release update, I guess, for the system menu. So, go to Internet. Uh, console information. There's our MAC address. So, I'm going to go... I'm going to write this down. Because we will need this for the next step. 1.7... Alpha, Bravo, and everything is case sensitive when you're dealing with MAC addresses. Okay, so we have our MAC address. We know we're rocking 4.3U as far as the system menu. So let's go ahead and we'll open up our application on our desktop and we'll go ahead and input the information onto our um, into the application itself and then we'll have our uh, SD card inserted uh, enter either our PC or whatever we're using, and uh, it should write the files to that SD card. So, stay tuned for that. 
All right, so we're back, and we're going to need to get a hold of the WeBrand Launcher. Um, this is great, great tool. Um, all it really requires is that you know the MAC address and the system menu version that you're going to be installing the Homebrew channel uh, on the Wii too. So what I like to do, uh, it's really good. If you go to Bob's website, it's retrorgb.com, and uh, he's got a nice little section for console info and mods. And uh, from here, he's got a link on his page, or on his website, I should say, um, to a really great uh, Wii Hacks uh, tutorial on how to soft mod any Wii. It really pretty much goes over everything I'm doing in this video, and this is what I've used um, to kind of get to the point where everything is really simple. Um, but it just pretty much, you know, tries to get you to understand what you should, shouldn't do, um, all the different revisions and the uh, iOS's. Um, let's see, what do we have? Uh, yeah, just some precautions, some applications, some application packs you can download. Um, but pretty much, yeah, um, 350 free blocks uh, of NAND space, so pretty much you need to have 350 blocks free. That's why I say get rid of everything you don't need as far as game saves, channels. Uh, remove all the USB devices, GameCube controllers, uh, format an SD card to FAT32, which we will do, um, which I've already done, but I'll do it again. Um, and then pretty much just launch, uh, well, for us, because this as you can see, it starts uh, System Mini 3.1. Uh, depending on what System Mini you're you're using, you may need to do a different uh, you may need need to do a different uh, method to get the the actual Homebrew channel installed. But you could always update to 4.3, uh, which is right down here. So we're using the method of getting the WeBrand launcher, which he has a link to download it. So we'll go ahead and we've already downloaded it, but uh, here it is. It's the Wii brand launcher. Uh, we're going to go ahead and insert my SD card right now. And it should, it should be right here. So there's nothing on it. Properties. As you can see, it's fat. So we'll just go ahead and free format it. I think this is a very small card, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at fat. It does not need to be fat32. I've done it before without... But again, um, if you have access to a, a higher capacity, um, it will work. It, it just may require you to do it a couple times uh, to get it to actually load. So let's go ahead, open up WeBrand Launcher. And this is it right here. Double click it. All right, and it's a really great little tool. Go ahead and enter in your MAC address. So it was 0017 Alpha Bravo Echo 1. 0797. Our system menu region, it'll tell you, or well, obviously we're American, that's why it's 4.3U, and the system uh, menu version is 4.3. Now, the HackMe installer, you'll already download that. This is a great little uh, tool because it'll have uh, BootMe and I believe the Homebrew Channel uh, installer. So, yes, we'll copy it, uh, bundle it with me, copy it directly to the E drive, which is the uh, SD memory card, you can see over here, removable disk, and just go ahead and click on the little bomb, ba bomb, bomb. So it's already created the exploit, and then it should so it copied the data to the E drive. So if you go in our little E, there it is. So let's go ahead. And go back to our Wii, take our memory card out, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we've powered on the Wii, hit the A button on our Wii Mote. Forgot to tell you, you're going to need a Wii Mote for this, or else it won't work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and insert my memory card now. You can insert it before or after, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not that picky. Alright, so you can see, you hear that. That means the SD card was inserted. Uh, we're going to actually go to Messages, and then as you can see it says Thursday 9-1, we'll just go back one day, 
and there's the exploit and it should load and it should take a little bit to load it usually takes there we go so yeah you shouldn't this you should not have to pay for uh, this exploit that's pretty much just what it's outlining if you paid for the software which we just used right now as part of a bundle or uh, in lieu of payment then yeah you should ask for your money back. I don't know how that would work, but legalities. It should eventually pop up with a one. Okay, so hit one. So now here it's telling me that we can install the homebrew and boot me can be installed uh, as an actual first boot option. Um, so what that means is when you turn your, your Wii on, you'll boot directly into Boot Me. If you don't want that, you can install it as an iOS, which you can then run from the Homebrew channel. So let's go ahead and install the Homebrew channel. Yes. Okay. Uh, boot Me. Install Boot Me as Boot 2. So we'll hit Yes. Um, it's pretty much yeah, you have it's gonna write files directly to the SD card. So this isn't a very big SD card, so I don't know if it'll work, but it should. Alright, so it is done. Uh, go ahead and install it. Now if you were to install boot me as uh, boot option two and you don't have the SD card inserted in your Wii. When you go to turn it on, it will not boot to uh, boot me because it writes files directly on the SD card. Okay. Continue, and we'll just return to the main menu uh, and exit. As you can see, it boots right to the homebrew channel. We don't have anything on the SD uh, memory card at the moment, so we're just going to exit to the system menu. And as you can see, we now have the homebrew channel installed. Which uh, you need to pretty much install a lot of the other fun things you can do with a Wii. So for the moment, uh, I think we'll just kind of keep it here. Uh, we're going to need to do a couple more installs. We need to install, oh, we actually need to do a backup of Boot Me, uh, of our NAND. So um, let's do a backup of the NAND. That's going to take a while. Then we need to install all the different uh, iOS files that need uh, in order to run certain emulators um, and other certain little. Uh, fun little gadgets uh, as far as uh, homebrew apps and different stuff that you normally couldn't do with a Wii. Um, like run uh, image files from GameCube games uh, and all that fun stuff. So let's take a break. We'll come back with part two, but for right now, we have the homebrew channel installed, so that's a success in my book. As always, guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you, you probably don't like my channel. So, sorry. Can't please all of you, but I'll please some of you. And as always, uh, stick around, and we'll have part two, and who knows when, but it'll be. It'll be.